All right, welcome back to another episode of Art Time, where today we're drawing the R20 Tiger. In other words, a strange weapon that I made. This weapon is an interesting one, to say the least, because uh, you shoot it like this. Eh? Hope your pinky trigger finger is good, because mine certainly ain't. That's right, folks. I was going to do an um, Elementals Reborn drawing, but... For April 1st, assuming I can get this posted before 12, I decided, you know what? I'm going to go on ahead and do this instead. So, happy April Fools, I guess, everybody. Yep, this, this strange gun right here. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like and subscribe for more. So, yes, this is the R20 Tiger. It is a special handgun type weaponry, a uh, pistol weapon, that uh, essentially requires you to have a good pinky trigger finger to be able to effectively use it. I mean, you could probably try to, like, use it in this freaking way, but my god, that would be a pain in the ass. That would be a pain in the ass, wouldn't it? Well, either way, it is an interesting weapon that I wanted to make at some point. And now I've made it. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, we're going to go on ahead and get this done with at a relatively quick pace if we can. It is going to be a, hopefully, an hour and a half drawing. We'll see what occurs. But, uh, yeah. I have nothing more to really talk about at the moment. I, uh, I got most of... Uh, Element, or, um, those, uh, Nova Guardians drawn. I just gotta do the background, which I don't know what I'm gonna do exactly. Probably tomorrow or tonight if I freaking decide not to do another episode of a Game Crafters again. But uh, we'll see what occurs. This is going to be a um, you know, an interesting week for drawings because I technically. Don't have to worry about coming in to work until uh, t Tuesday and Wednesday. I've said this before. So I have more time to be able to get this stuff done, with, which is always good. It's always good to be able to get more time for my projects. Because <coughs> obviously... Oh, wait, that's not the handle. Um, I don't know. Base... Sure. No, we'll call this the base. There we go. Yep, I, I was up from like until freaking ten last night, so I unfortunately wasn't able to go to sleep earlier to get this done with. What sucks? And um, the <coughs> the next episode of Play Up was a doozy. My my God, it was a doozy. It, it was so stressful. You just don't know how stressful it was. But, uh, we did good, I'd like to think. You'll see soon enough. Hopefully, uh, you'll see. Hopefully you go on ahead and watch that episode. So, uh, yeah. That was, uh, hectic as all hell. I, uh, only wish that, uh, we weren't alone in all of this. And that we had some form of, uh, assistance. But it's fine. Part of the charm is the fact that we're alone. Now, I have no idea how the hell you would handle being able to, like, fire this weapon properly. Because this weapon is, um... Let's just say it is very... Unique in the sense that trying to fire it as is is, uh... Almost impossible. Like... Do you aim it like this? Do you aim it like that? Do you use your th your knuckles as like the sight? Is that how that would work? It's an interesting gun, and it has multiple uh, ways you can go about um, firing it. Yep, can't imagine how uh, one would go about actually using such a device. Hell, I mean, I've seen some stranger guns. Apparently this one gun that's able to, like, rotate in this direction 
looks and have a sight that just looks off in that direction. Which is definitely a strange gun, but it, I guess it kind of makes sense if you don't want to get shot in the head in terms of military combat or whatnot. That is an interesting gun. I wonder why we haven't seen guns like that in games. I wonder if there's any guns like this that even exists. I'd imagine that there is, right? There has to be. There has to be a gun out there that uh, is kind of similar to uh, this one. In the sense that it kind of just has, like, you know, double barrel here. I'd imagine. I'd, uh, I'd imagine that, whoops, that that is the case. So, yeah, that is, uh, that's what I've got here. An interesting, strange gun. Am I going to save this color swatch here? I have no idea. Maybe, maybe not. All I know is that uh, we're making something unique here. Uh, mag slot, I call this. I don't know what else you would call it. I'll probably make it out of this color over here. So it's just the same thing. And we'll have cell. Cells. And it's not a normal gun either. It's like, a, you know unique plasma gun, but it kind of has like a nice futuristic design to it. I don't even know what the hell faction is using this gun right now. Because it's like a mixture of blues and oranges, like cadmium and cerulean had a strange manufacturing collab and they came up with this thing. With this mess. So this is a plasma-esque weapon. It's gonna have a nice uh, light blue little coil there that uh, the more you fire it, the more it uh, decreases in size until, uh, you know, this and this thing down here is empty. And the interior is dark. <coughs> Which, uh, Makes it so that uh, you know that it's empty without really having to worry. I mean, if you continue firing it and it doesn't do shit, then yeah, that's pretty also telltale sign that it is empty. But uh, you got multiple ways now. Multiple ways. Okay, so we are on site E. I did forget about this thing here, but that's fine. That's something I can add in, in a bit. Uh, let's see. Probably I'm going to do these two here for this. Question is, do we want that one to be darker, or do we want the uh, outside to be darker? I guess it doesn't matter. It don't matter, so long as it look good. Alright, let's see. Now this is Site 1G. Whoops. Oh yeah, wait, why the hell is that like that? You could be Site 1B instead. It should be combined. Okay. Mm, and now we're probably going to have the nozzles here. Or whatever that part is called. It has a name, I just can't remember it. Here we go. Simplistic design, but that's fine. Like the cat sitting in the box right now. And now we got somebody with blue gloves handling it. Wait, that's not, that's fine. Fingers 1A. I gotta say though, it is an interesting weapon. I guarantee you, you've probably never seen a weapon like this before. Maybe in the South, but this ain't the South. Now ain't the South, man. It's it's the East. Middle East. Not Middle East, as in Middle Middle East. Like obviously not. I've stated where I've been before, so you know that I would be being in the Middle East. Also, you know, do I look like I'm from the Middle East? I'd like to think that answer is no. I mean, I, I, it'd be the first time I'd be hearing it. Huh? I'm actually not from where I am? Strange. 
Oh well, nothing changes. I'm still creating and enjoying what I like. Yeah, this guy's got his hands over that. That seems to be what I want. Yep. So anyways, whoops. An interesting gun to say the least. Thinking about um, how you would handle this thing and how you would be able to effectively use it. It's gotta be tricky. It's definitely gotta be tricky. Hmm, what if I just did uh, skin color instead? But I thought, whoops, that's not, that's too uh, pink. That's also not filling in. There we go. Yeah, it's like they have a, uh, you know. It's it, like the guy is looking at the gun like this. Confused as to how this thing works. I mean, if that's the case, I probably could adjust the, uh, the glove here a tiny bit. Let me just move some things around. Well, not the gloves, the hand. I could adjust the hand a tiny bit and have it here. Yeah, I could probably have the guy's arm, arm like this. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Whoops, not yeah. We forgot that this needs to be in more. Uh, maybe up more. Holds the gun like this, thanks. Hmm. <laughs> this just doesn't make any sense. I mean, can you blame anybody looking at this and trying to figure out how the hell you'd aim it? Because I don't know how the hell you would aim it. I don't even know how the hell you would fire it. First of all, you have to have an index pinky finger. And second of all... Do you aim it sideways or do you, whoop, that's five, ten, that's five. Do you aim it sideways or do you aim it um, normal ways? And just have like uh, twice the firepower. I mean, if you do it like this, first of all, I don't even think you, yeah, you have the gun there. So you would have to probably hold it like this and then fire it. I, don't, I have no idea. You would have two bullets coming out in this direction and angle here. I think I might be forgetting some stuff here. Like the safety. I don't even know where the hell the safety would be here on this thing. It would probably have to be somewhere in an area that won't be, like, because this is the grasp right here. Unless the safety is... Hmm. No idea. Unless I had, like, a button here. Whoops. And, well, you can't see the button there, so that's fine. God, you'd have to be careful not to press that, too. So would that mean that the button would have to be here, then? Well, it's going to suck, because this isn't going to be exactly where it needs to be. I guess it's fine. So long as it looks like it's somewhat close to what it looks like, what it's supposed to look like. There's your safety. And to take it out, just turn the cells and remove it. Or, I don't know. Maybe, maybe squeeze the bottom there once it's, like, you know, empty. Or the cells automatically, like, turn themselves and then you squeeze the bottom and then put the cells in. Where if you want to manually uh, reload it, you can just take the thing out by turning it, both of them, you probably do uh, squeeze and then well, grab, make sure you grab them so that you can use them for later and put in new cells or something. That's uh, definitely an interesting way to go, whoops, to go about, uh, whoops, again, reloading it. Two safeties. Press the button there. Safety's on. Squeeze this, safety's off. Maybe that doubles as a safety. I don't know, this is the most, like, strangest gun. I don't even know how the hell I'd go about, um... Explaining how to, this thing would work. 
I'm sure there is ways to make this work, but having to do like two different things at once to reload probably does take like a long time. I guess it doesn't matter just yet. I'm gonna have to figure that out once I post this drawing. And video. So yeah, this, this is definitely one of those kinds of guns that requires a little bit more thought put into figuring out how in the hell they can work. How does this gun work? How many bullets is, should it hold? Or how many cell energy cells should it hold? It's not the first energy weapon that I'm making too, which is good, so I can just grab some information off of that. <laughs> You've got one strange gun in your hand right here, man. How does it work? Nobody knows, really. Just standing there trying to look at it, trying to figure out, like, what this thing is even. You know it's a gun. It has the similar properties that most guns have. But it's not a normal gun. First of all, it's using energy cells, so it definitely is a high-tech gun. And second of all, it looked like somebody welded two guns together. I mean, if, if you have the pinky strength, it'll work. This would work. You just have to figure out, like, where the mag would... I mean, the mag would have to be back here. Because otherwise, it's just not going to work as well. That mag would have to be in the back, no matter what. Unless you could put the mags here. Yeah, I just had this idea and I really wanted to go through with it. I don't even think this is what the R20 Tiger originally was supposed to be. I don't remember what it was supposed to be. But it definitely wasn't this, that's for certain. I just decided to keel haul that name and put it into this thing instead. And it works. Don't know if it's cerulean, don't know if it's cadmium. We don't even know if this is even a legit weapon in the universe. An April Fool's weapon. But it is, sure enough. I heard a cat moving in her box. Her box that she's destroyed countless times. <laughs> yep, you can hear her. Moving around in the box. Now you're just gonna stay in your box, aren't you? All right, let's see. Um, we've definitely got an interesting gun. Now, I guess the real question is: Should it be semi-auto or should it be full auto? I have no idea. <clears throat> I mean, think about how the hell you use this thing. Would you just do this, or would you just hold it down like that? I guess just, <laughs> if you want to go like double fire or rapid fire, then yeah. But, I can't see how else this gun would work. Not unless your pinky can actually fire a gun. I'm pretty sure pinky firing is a thing, right? <clears throat> Man, could you imagine somebody, like, try to actually make this gun? Could you freaking imagine? Like, not like any energy cell-based things. Like, like, with actual bullets. With the uh, physical real bullets. As opposed to futuristic energy cells. That would be incredible, just to see something like that come to life. I just have no clue if anybody could effectively use it. You would need somebody whose pinky's fingers is like, you know, the same strength as your thumb. Whose fingers are basically just sausages. And can, like, lift more than 20 times its weight or something. You would literally need somebody built like Shrek to be able to handle a gun like this. This is a gun that probably requires way more skill to use than you would ever really have imagined. 
And look at this guy. His th th his pinky is huge. His thumb's a little bit smaller. Well, then again, it looks like it's supposed to be. Four my, my hands are much more smaller though, so it's my my hands aren't exactly the best. Whoops, the best example to try to you know. God damn it, this fucking mouse. I'm gonna slam this mouse. Yeah, but my pinky isn't exactly the best um, exam or I, my hands entirely isn't a best example to try to like, you know, demonstrate how this gun would fire. I I don't even know like if I'd have to show my dad this. He's more into guns than I am. I'm just like, yeah, I like guns, but I don't really like go out of my way to go to like the range as much as they do. Well, he does. They, I say. It's just like what, uh, I guess, uh, what, what would he be to me? Cousin? Is he? Actually, I'm gonna ask my dad this. Yeah. He's going to be confused when he gets this text. He'd be like, why the hell are you asking me this? I just want to make sure I got my information right. No thing, nothing like, no words, no names, stuff like that. Just, is that person my cousin, technically speaking? Probably. I don't even, I don't even remember. No. No, I, well, I don't know what he would be then. What 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 would he be again? Um, sister, in law. What? Did, no, I have no idea. It's coming from someone who has no freaking clue, like the uh, weird family tree kind of thing that I have in mind for uh, May and some cousins from Brosif's sides who are nieces, I think, or cousins. I don't remember. The idea was to have like maybe. Not related to them by blood. Because... Well, Holly... And there was Mitch, but Mitch was a brother from another father. And Broseph's father and a mother and a, Yeah, then that's... They got, they made Broseph. Mother is on... Yeah, on Broseph's father's side to... You know, then to his father's brothers who then had a... Cousins, yeah, cut. I thought I don't remember. Would that be like twice remove or third remove? I just don't know. All I know is I'm making a dual gun. A gun, a literally two handguns put together that requires the index finger and the pinky finger to be able to fire effectively. To reload, if the clip, if the uh, cells are empty, squeeze the bottom part of this trigger over here, and the shells eject. Then you just twist the cells in, and you're good to go. Press these two buttons to put in in safety mode. When you don't want to be in safety mode anymore, squeeze the bottom trigger. In order for you to squeeze it, you gotta squeeze it very dip, uh, very hard. So, like, ah, my fingers. But yeah, like that. You gotta squeeze it very hard. Buttons come out, ready to fire. Just like, make sure you do it like this with your uh, pinky and index finger on the trigger. To, uh, you know, not uh, accidentally fire it when you're exiting out of... This gun is so confusing. For an April Fool's gun joke, is this this gun is the most confusing to try to actually explain explain legitimately? You want to reload it uh, halfway through your cell, twist the cells off, and remove it that way. Squeeze the trigger to remove the cells if they are completely empty. This is a gun that requires a little bit more knowledge to use. And some dexterous fingers. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed.
Indubitably. <laughs> and also, the. Whoops. Base. I gotta do something different with the. Uh, this portion, at least. It's all just this. I also gotta put in some lines and whatnot. Yes, indeed. Nozzles 1A and Nozzles 1B. <laughs> you know how cool it would be if there was a game where you just had a gun like this? Maybe if I were to ever make like a Chrome Wars uh, shooter game, I could have this gun be an option where you can use it. <clears throat> any fair is any Chrome War game I would make, it would have to be with Raybot. It's a platformer game that I made long ago on Game Maker. And I tried doing it in Dreams, but, you know, Dreams was a little bit uh, tricky, and I also tried doing, like, my own music, and it didn't really sound as good. Which reminds me, I really gotta try to figure out what I need to do with the music for goddamn the first music in Paint Maze, or first Zones music, I should say. <sighs> I'm close to finishing that but I'm nowhere near where I need to be. I'm still trying to figure out some things in the last bit, and I gotta adjust the middle portion. Might need to increase the melody's uh, length. Maybe increase the bit rate of that section, the rates per minute. I don't know. All I know is I gotta try to figure out how to make that sound better. Hmm. Did I choose the right one? I did, it just doesn't look like it. Maybe it's because this is 5, not... Um... There we go. Ugh. Let me see something here real quick. I'm gonna put this in shadows, put this in... 200... <clears throat> And uh, do the same here. It's like a nice wood grip finish or something. Yeah, I just get this uh, a little bit more, um, what do you call it? There we go. I have to imagine there's some, like, gun out there in game format that looks like that that's built like this, or at least similar to this. There, there has to be. There's no way I'm the first one to come up with this concept. You'd like to think, ah, I'm the first one to come up with this concept. Nobody's ever come up with a, a strange concept like this. A gun built in this particular format. But no, there's always someone out there who's created the most insane design possible. My only difference here is that I'm using futuristic example here. While some of them are probably like, let's just wheel these two guns together and see if we can build this to fire like you know, this. I don't know how the hell this would work in, like, practice, but, you know, it is fine. It is a fine piece of weaponry. An R20 Tiger. What does that mean? Maybe it has 20 rounds in it. <clears throat> Each. It is one of those guns that really would benefit from having a large magazine clip, because otherwise trying to like reload this thing constantly is just going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, but firing it more consistently is also a pain in the ass. You kidding me? Oh yeah, it, was, it rained. Okay, good, nothing, as far as I'm aware. It was like a thunderstorm. My god, I was thundering up a storm. It was insane. Um, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna do, uh, gun lines now. I probably should have done this, you know, before I did this, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, let's have this kind of curve a little. Just a little bit. I can probably try to match it, maybe. 
Like, okay, what would be the best way for me to be able to match it? Get the line here to line up properly? Probably. And maybe get this to come off of here like that. This is going to be a nightmare to try to reorient. <clears throat> I can tell you that much for a fact. This will be a nightmare to try to reorient. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't even think we're going to need that many lines either. <clears throat> yeah, most of the design from this thing stems from the, uh, the stripes. So most of that's kind of pointless. Let's see here. Okay, got a line up there. Good, great. Uh, now here comes the pain. You don't even know my pain. Uh, let's do a horizontal flip and a 180 rotation. That didn't do shit. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Nope, definitely not right. Mm, it's close, but is it close enough? That's the question. Let's see. Well, I did kind of make this like that, so that probably doesn't help. Luckily, though... I could just basically do this. Where'd you go? Okay, cool, great. Uh, you moved all the way up there. Cool, awesome. That's exactly what I want to see. Cool. This does seem very close. Oh, look, at my, look into my eyes as I stare at you. Yep. Okay, that seems pretty good. Uh, let's see. One more stroke. Three strokes. One, two, three strokes, you're out. Did better than that frickin' bowling ball, though, that's what's certain. I don't know how people are able to just frickin' one, two, three, boom. I don't know, maybe it's like there's something different in terms of like how they like do things. Do they do any foreplay? Do they? Do they like not like ease up into it? Do they just go straight into it? I don't know. I've never done anything like that outside of advanced ends. You know what that means? Then good. If you don't know what that means, then keep that innocence, child. And also, why the fuck are you here, child? This is not for children. I am not for children. I swear, a lot. Might be within your best interest to, uh, vamoose. To vanish. To literally disappear inside of a sewer. And then anger a young, um, Asian man. You know, with, uh, Killing him a bunch of times while he's trying to complete this, uh, this sewer run. And then he has a meltdown because, uh, you've killed him so goddamn good that, uh, he, he's getting angry. He's getting raged. It's a reference that some of y'alls probably would get, but you know what? I don't know. If you watch this, you probably don't watch the reference I'm trying to get at here, but you know, what can I say? There we go. A decent gun. I feel like I could do more decoration-wise to it, though. Like, maybe get some of these here to have a nice, cracked, withered kind. Not withered, but, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Make it flatter. Uh, longer. Base one. Like a nice... 
diamond-esque appearance to it. Instead of just the usual stringy looking uh, thing that I have. Sure, why not? <clears throat> Man, to use a gun like this, you really do need to have the core strength. Wonder what kind of workout you'd get trying to fire this gun multiple times. You definitely get like a hand workout. Definitely he's gonna get cramps though, that's for certain. The amount of cramping you're gonna get is going to be extremely high. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give whoops, I'm gonna give this guy some vein muscles. You can see most of his, uh, what do you call it? Now, I've never really done something like that before. I, I probably could. Like, if I did this... I don't really do this too often because the shading doesn't really pan out as well as you would think. But I'm going to try to put more design into this guy's uh, body. Like, I don't know, maybe a, a nice vein over here to show that he's a little bit stronger. See, the issue is I can't get hard veins. If I try, okay, if I try to do that, this is what I get. It's too, what's the word? It's too choppy. I mean, maybe if I were to bring the spacing down to zero, it would work. Yeesh. Yeah, no, never mind. That's that's a big negatory on that working department. Nope, that's not going to work. The other thing you can do is basically just do this. Bring it as small as possible. Get the veins in. Shade around the veins and make it, like, you know, slightly smaller. You really do need to be a muscle man, human tank. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. In order to be able to handle a gun like this. We've been at this for 37 minutes. Okay, not bad. I want to get some blue in here. I don't know why I'm putting effort into this guy's arm, but, you know, it's worth it, I guess. <laughs> Um, 10% flow. I mean, yeah, actually. You can get some good-looking veins in there, right? I don't know, my veins aren't as prominent, but I guess that makes sense. The veins shouldn't be that prominent. Uh, I could probably do a little bit of, like, full veins if I can see most of them. And if I, whoops, wrong one. And if I'm going to do something similar in that department, I could have this guy's uh, gloves be, okay, that's a bit too non noticeable. Have his gloves be a little bit more uh, like this. I could probably do something with his arms here, like that, kind of. I don't do this particular kind of uh, muscle work. I usually just do basic muscles because that works just fine. But for this guy, I'm making an exception. Yeah, let's try to, like, provide a bit more shading to his uh, gloves here real quick. Some muscle man tank from the Cerulean just got his hands on a very cool-looking weapon. It does feel like I could probably rotate this in the other direction, but I do like the way this looks in this angle. So maybe he's a left-handed guy. I'm right-handed, so maybe he's a left-handed guy. That's just weird to look at, unless, you know. Well, so that he doesn't skip leg or arm, left arm day. <laughs> he doesn't do what Homer Simpson does and just focuses on one arm. <clears throat> Oh, I got an idea. If I was going to do, like, some, like, 
background looking thing. But what if we just have him be like standing next to a door? He's just looking at his guns, getting it ready. It's like a blast door he's standing in front of. <clears throat> well, that probably isn't going to help. Wait, unless I do something like this. But that seems a bit too big. Too big. Or maybe he's like standing in front of, uh, I don't know, a uh, a laboratory door, a secret facility. And we just have like uh, lights here. Do, 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 do. I don't know why I'm getting like Duke Nukem vibes here, despite the fact that he doesn't exactly have blue gloves. I mean, would Duke use a gun like this? He'd probably be like, huh, what a strange gun. But a gun's a gun. A gun is a gun. No matter how you shoot it. A bullet is a bullet. Don't matter. Uh, don't matter physical or... Uh, so, nah, I don't know what the, what the fuck. Doesn't matter if it's future, futuristic or modern. Why am I trying to make a song out of this when I'm failing miserably? I don't know. I suck at trying to freestyle. It's not even freestyle. I'm literally trying to have Duke Nukem sing a gun version of a... Uh, this kitchen's not... this Or is this grill's not the same without you? I can't even remember the goddamn music. Or name of the song. You think I'm going to be able to try to freestyle that? Yeah, no. <clears throat> and maybe it's like the Doom guy as well. I mean, it could be the Doom guy, Marine. God, yeah, sure. Doom guy, Marine just went into Chrome Wars universe, grabbed a gun, and decided, you know what? Go back to my universe. This gun is freaking awesome. Two pistols in one? Yep. Oh, they should. They, there really needs to be a game out there where you use a gun like this. Not exactly like this, but a gun that's basically just two, two guns in one. And it's not like one's on top of the other. No, it's literally just this. I am just very curious how to hell this thing would fire. Like, you kidding me? This is not a gun you'd see every day. This is a gun that can only really be made in, like, the bowels of Florida. And assuming that Florida is, like, the epicenter of crazy stuff that goes down in America. Whatever is the deepest depths of America, this is the kind of gun you'd see. We're only on the edge of America, so I wouldn't say that this would uh, count. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this here since this, I mean, I, yeah, I'm going to be re replicating this on the other side, i.e. copying and pasting. But still. I just want a gun like this in a game, in some game, don't matter. Y'alls are making, if y'alls are making more Dead Space game after this, make a gun like this and make it like the best gun in the game. Have it like, uh... If you aim it perfectly at, like, a necromorph's head, it'll cut off both their limbs and basically be an insta-kill. Upgrade it to, like, max, and you can basically just fire a few shots at their heads, and it just destroys their freaking bodies. <laughs> and make it so it's like, you know, I don't know, would it, would it be kind of, like, cheap to have it do what the plasma cutter do and just have Isaac turn the gun like this? Not even just, just, like... Have Isaac aim it like that. Or maybe just have him always aim it like that or something. I don't even know if this thing would need a special fire. It's so goddamn powerful. It would be overkill if you had any more to it. 
Well, it depends on what the stats are for this gun is going to be. But I, I think I'm going to make this gun stats pretty cool. It's not going to be <laughs> April Fool stats, though. As funny as it would be to say that this gun has 999 damage and a fire rate of 20 bullets a second. <laughs> this is the God Gun. If you have this gun, you win. If you come across somebody with a gun like this, see if you're faster tr uh, trigger fire, then you win. If not, well, you're just dead. Should have had the god armor with 9,999 um, defense. I feel like I could do armor in this uh, universe. I could. I just don't really know, like, how big that would be. I feel like something like, like that is novel and probably wouldn't get too much armor made. Unless I can come up with a decent amount of armor to use. Now, either way. This gun is something. <clears throat> now I gotta wait for this thing to combine all of these. There we go. Alright, let's just put this here. And then we just go on ahead and cut all this out. <laughs> there we go. And now I just get the other side real quick. I'm really proud of that arm, though. I don't draw arms like that. My main focus on arms is they're just arms. They don't need any more detail to them. But uh, for this one, I decided to do this. I've said it already, but I'll say it again. I decided to do this. Hmm. Well, that's a problem. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Unless I make this one slightly... And, but if I do that, whoops, if I do that, I need to move everything here. Well, I could just do that, actually. Hold on. Uh, don't clear most of those. Just clear the center out. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, this one's going to be tricky because I don't necessarily possess the ability right now keep the, to keep the centered. Now I do. Yes. I don't know what the hell this thing is. Maybe it's the ceiling. I don't know. Something. I'm just going to combine these so that these kind of stay somewhat where they need to stay. Combine. Consume. Expand. Grow. Expand. Explode. Okay, what am I missing? I'm missing this. <laughs> I think that one's going to be different. And now I'm going to get the rest of this going. That's not what I wanted to grab. Now let's grab everything here. Everything but the metal was moved, which is fine. Now I just need to move you into position. What position is this? There you are. Get over here. I guess this one doesn't exactly matter. What I could do is... Wait, where is this going? Here. Okay, I could just do this. There we go. <laughs> I have no clue what this area is. Uh, I will save this even though I don't really need this particular swatch. Who knows? Maybe I will use it again in the future. I have been saving these... So far, so I might as well keep saving them, even though it's unlikely that I will draw it again. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, I'm going to use just different colors for this one. Before I try to keep most of the colors kind of consistent for, uh, you know, most of the bases, but now I've just decided why don't we do some different colors here. Yeah, maybe they're in like a, a special, uh, whoops, a special sanguine facility. Whatever group is here getting ready to uh, invade this area. <clears throat> uh, most of it will still kind of keep like a, a somewhat similar, um, what do you call it, like... Uh, Whoops. I'm just keeping these safe in case I need them again for this one. Okay, hold, hold on a second here. I don't know why I did it like that, but it's fine. It's slowly starting to open the door. Those are lights that haven't been activated yet. It's counting up. All right, cat. You might be on the box. You on the box, cat? Psst. I just want to hear the cat purring next to me. To the side, to the left. To the side, to the left. Open up that damn door. Yeah, this is a gun right here. Whoopses. Whoops again. <clears throat> Maybe like a nice uh, light red color up here. Uh, this is seven, I believe. It doesn't exactly matter because I don't think I'm going to keep this save here. Let's see. Pretty sure I'm not going to keep this save. Yep, the cat's in the box. You in the box yet again. The box that you keep destroying. Why you got to destroy that box so much? <laughs> there we go. And we got like a nice darker colored pipe here. <clears throat> I don't know what this is, I'll just call it a nude. But it's got a nice dark color in the bottom, dark red color in the bottom. Then I have a nice bright red color here. <clears throat> Probably gonna have a much darker color up here as well. Maybe more of uh, this kind of color. More pinkish. All right, now for the wall. Probably gonna have a nice goldish trim in the back. Goldish. Ugh, my back. And this one's probably going to be like a nice magenta, whoops, magenta red. Or maybe not magenta red. Or rather a, a grayish color. Yeah, like that. There's going to be, ah, I didn't want to press that. I wanted to keep the magenta red, you fool. It's fine, I'll just get the magenta red again. It's no problem. Too magenta red. Not even magenta. And we're almost there. At least with the coloring process. There's still the postingness, of course. <clears throat> uh, 
Not sure. I think it may be a darker red color to make it look like it's going inwards or something. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. Doors opening up. You can see the uh, the stuff in the background. Probably maybe have some steam there. <clears throat> yeah, you got like this out here. Uh, I got an idea actually. There we go. Uh, let's make this seem a little bit. Send goes to you. Then we just go on head. <clears throat> Do that here. We're almost done, at least with the door. Well, at least with the shading part of the door. I do want to put a little bit more into this if possible. Then I just go on ahead and get door 1C. Then this portion. And then this portion. And make this one brighter. And I'll leave that one darker though. It's a simple, simple things in life, really. Getting this, uh, you know, small enclosed door room. I like the, like the anticipation of uh, entering into a battlefield in this department. It works perfectly with seeing the most strangest gun you've ever seen and the most battle-hardened arms you've ever seen. Like, look at my arms. It's small as hell. Look at them. Although, I do have some muscles. It's just not that... Not that, uh, important compared to this guy's muscles. I lift a lot of freaking heavy pallet frames every day. I probably could make them even bigger, but I'd rather just not be the size of Shrek. I'd rather be like, you know, normal, average. Most of my muscles consists of my legs over here. But I can't show you them because I'm <coughs> I don't think I really have the flexibility to try to show that without having to like go all out. Lift up my legs and try to not Oh, there's a cat. <coughs> Cat's over here with her freaking stop. <coughs> Stop pawing at your food. I don't know why this cat's got to paw at our food like that. Don't make any sense. Oh, yeah. It's getting warmer out there. Still not warm enough. I mean, I guess it did just, like, rain and it's nighttime, so... I still kind of have to wear... At least some form of warmth. I don't have anything on right now, but it's not as bad. It's just mostly my feet that get too cold and I have to wear two socks. It's annoying. It's annoying having to wear two socks. But I guess with the holes that are just appearing, it's good to have at least that kind of buffer. What you scoffing at? <laughs> Yeah, I just kind of have that blend in with, like, the darkness a little. Oh, it's still scoffing. You always got that scoff. I don't know why you got you. She's always had that scoff ever since she was a little kid. Right, Cadillac? Meow. Meow. 
Are you just gonna lick your chaps and look at me? Zap me on <laughs> Yep. Where were we? Ah, yes. We're now at texture portion. Yep. This is uh, April, right? Yep. There's only one more others drawing left after this. Man, I can't believe it's April already. <clears throat> Insane, right? Insane indeed. Four months have passed. We've not made too much progress on YouTube, but that's a given. Ugh. YouTube isn't really something I expect to make a lot of progress on in general. Did I? I think I might have forgotten that. No, I didn't. It's just... I didn't put too much into it. <clears throat> Yeah, that's probably why I try to, like, have this be a little bit brighter, but have this kind of go in like it's, you know, doing that. It's fine. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, make these pipe-looking things over here. Cat's eating. Wall 1A. Uh, I guess that one would be... No, that's the wrong one. Node 1B. I guess this portion can be this. I have a few things in mind for the background, but first things first. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to try to put a little bit more uh, effects into this. Like so. What you looking at? Maybe have some of this down here. Uh, uh, go for the door first, actually. Yeah. I'm going to make this look a little bit more rustic. Not yet, but I will, don't you worry. Do a little quick save. <clears throat> Jeez. And now we get this portion shaded in like so. It's gonna take a little bit while since this is a lot that I just textured in, but it's fine. Usually the case with things like this, I know. <clears throat> now we just play the waiting game. Wait for this to be done doing a stupid thing. There. No, not the wall. And not bigger. <clears throat> did I do that one? Yeah, I did. Alright, now for the thing that I had in mind for this. Put it at like 500. Not too much now, but enough. To make this area look a little bit different. Now I put, maybe not at 10, maybe do this one at 5 since it's a little bit more, uh, what do you call it? There we go. Uh, where are you? There you are. Do this. Go to uh, 400. Try to get some of this a little bit more uh, dilapidated and decrepit. Do the same up here. Get underneath the door over here. And we do the same somewhat over here and over here. Do the same thing with the node a little. <clears throat> and 
and get some in the wall here. There we go. Now we got the pipe. Try to make that one like that. And the pipe over here. And what I will probably do is do a five highlight so the walls are a little bit more noticeable. Same for this one over here. I'll probably make this one a bit brighter, too. But I'm also going to add in this stuff here. Yeah. What I could probably do here is add some highlight versions of these on the door. And I'll do a shadow version. So the door looks even more rusted. <clears throat> I could probably do the same thing with the node here. There we go. Let's uh, go back to this real quick and get some more shading departments on the door. Just a little bit. Now I just need steam. How much steam is the question? No idea. We'll see. Steam. I get some like steam up here. Yeah. And we go over to door one four and we get even more steam. Like, uh, it's puffing out the steam like that. That's where most of the steam is coming from. Now we get darker steam in the bottom area. A little less uh, smaller. Like so. And we get some darker steam up here, if possible. Most of this is already kind of taken up, so I don't think it's much I could have done. That's fine. <clears throat> All right, good. And that's the background. Now it's time for the shadows, and lighting, and effects. And then after that, that'll be this for this episode. I'll put this at 150. Um, I guess the lighting will come from the top. Yeah, that'll work. Like there's some strange looking light or orange-ish light coming down from the ceiling. Yeah, I got something in mind. Don't you worry. Not too much in the arms, just a little bit. Oops. Make sure we delete some of this so this is noticeable. And we do the same thing to the bottom. Down here, but in the, the bottom direction, of course. And that should be that for the gun, maybe? Maybe not a little bit more. Just a little bit more. And now that should be that for the gun. Now for the shadows in the back. Again, relatively easy. All I gotta do... I don't even know if that's showing as much. Most of this is dark and already. Are you showing? Oh, of course you're not showing because we're still selected on an Athen, of course. How could I forget? We're still selected on that. Now we're not, and now the darkness is coming in. 
All right, and we get this down here as well. We already got a bunch of darkness up here, but I'll provide some more darkness. Why not? And now for the fog. This one's gonna be interesting. Um, the Kelly fog. I might try to go for like a magenta look. I'm not sure. Orangish red. Yeah, an orangish red. Fog one B. Two magenta. What about more red? How about this one? That could work. I have something in mind with the lighting. But for this to work, light rays, I'm going to need to experiment. I need a nice light orange ray here. Maybe, yeah, maybe that'll do. I just have like the rays of light coming down on the gun. Whoops. I think most of the effects are probably going to have to uh, do most of the leg, leg work here. Let's just hope we chose the right light color for this. Yeah, I'm going to have to have some, like, light orange here to make this look good. Light particles. <laughs> that is not what I want. I want to go to be, you fool. Now go to the particles over here. <coughs> and light flares as well. Let's be careful not to go too overboard with this now. Don't want it to get in the way of most of the guns look. There we go. And now that that's set, I just need to do some shadow rays. Easy enough. Ten. Ten. Those just shadow rays isn't even shown that much. Because again, the background is relatively darker. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Shadow rays. You forgot I was still on shadows itself. Okay. All right. Good. Great. Don't think there's anything more that I have to do here. So now we just move on to the next portion. Light orange area. I'm gonna need some pinks and orange. What the? Oh, I did. Uh, that's what I did over there. Well, I gotta move this back to 100 anyway, so. Alright, here we go. Is this the light orange I want? Kind of. Not exactly. <laughs> I need some pink area in here. Cover up most of the area. And now I need some straight up orange in here. What flavor of orange, you may ask? Yeah, something like that. But not all orange. We'll have some teal in here as well. What flavor of teal? Oh, that one, that one, definitely that one. Another thing that I want to get over here, light blue area. That's just emanating off of this thing. And you just see it's somewhat emanating off of his, um, his body. We'll try to delete some of it so it's not too noticeable. 
a light uh, reflection coming off of the gun. Uh, let's see, a light purple area now, which I could probably use for most of the back here as well. Uh, let me see if I can get a magenta area in here. I'm sure I can somewhere, but I gotta be careful with how I do this. Oh, it's doing that thing again where it's... Yeah, how about, how about this shade? I'm not sure. What about yellow? Uh, two yellow. How about this shade of yellow? Uh, how about this shade of orange? How about brown? Oh, brown works good. Okay, change this from magenta to brown. There we go. <clears throat> oh, we're almost there, but why don't I get some more blues in here? So I'm gonna get a dark blue area now. <clears throat> Whoops. There we go. And if there's one more thing that I need to do, <clears throat> it's going to be the steam particles. I have something in mind for this one. But I gotta adjust some things off camera to make it work. <clears throat> it's unfortunate you can't see it, but it's fine. Right. Need some browns and some other colors. Yeah, look at all this. Let me get some 125s in here. Mm, that's more smoke. Ooh, what we had like a okay, so I think we're done with I want to press X, you fool, not that one. But I think I'm done with this particle. That's good. Why don't I put some embers in here as well? Embers is probably gonna look cool, right? I'll have it right beneath the door. Embers. Is this above or below? Should this be a below? Weird. That's less showing if it's above the steam. Unless. No, that is right. Ah, whatever. Embers. Wait, actually, I'm missing some, uh, some of this. It's like there's already a fight going on. Ooh, what if I get some, uh, fire glow then? Like, there's a fight going on behind this door. And you're coming in to clean up the rest. Door is slightly dabbledged. Oh, wait. I need to be redder. Yeah, make you more red. More red, more orange. I would say maybe we can get some fire coming off the edges here, but that's not going to look as good. All right, that's fine. Now the only thing left, I think, assuming I don't have anything more that I want to add in here, I mean, the arm, the veins in the arm and the arm's texture looks pretty good. <clears throat> the only thing I would probably would want to try to do actually, is reduce the glow a tiny bit on the edge, but have a little bit showing on that edge there. There we go. And now let's go to the sepia. The last thing that we need to do here for this one. 50. 
vivid lighting. Here we go. Sepia. Let's see, what kind of sepia do you want? Hmm, what about this one? Nah, did I? I don't know if I did that one or not. Imagine we did that one. That one looks pretty good. Now, that one also looks pretty good. What about this one? Wait, what if I did this? And then I had one of these at 100 for most of the back end. Most of the back end, like here. An area that matters the most to have this like that. Yeah, and then we have that kind of try to take most of this here. Maybe we can have the lighter orange run along the edge here or something. And maybe have a nice light yellow. Can't see that yellow. How about this shade? Nope. Light. How about this one? Nah. What about red? Nah. Nah. Um... Honestly, the orange here kind of works. And then, I think that's it. I think that's all I need to do here. I'm pretty sure, at least. Let me just go on ahead and get uh, this stuff back to normal. And there we go. Okay, not bad. If there was anything here I probably could do, I'd probably get this a little bit more brighter, but I feel like, I feel like this might be just fine as it is. Like, the, you can see a tiny bit of the red, but it's not, like, too noticeable. Jesus Christ, can't with all this mess. So, there we go, folks. In, even without this, I mean, it still looks pretty good, right? Except for the fact that we didn't do anything here, but that's fine. And also, most of the fog is gone. So, uh, with effects, without effects, with effects... But that effects. It's a huge freaking difference. Especially most of the effects that we have <coughs> takes precedence in this department here. But that's fine. Why the hell did that didn't disappear? Ah, whatever. It's fine. There we go, folks. So anyways, with that being said, thank y'all for watching today's episode of Art Time. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more, check out that their playlist, and of course, shoom, previous episode of Art Time right over here. And the most recent episode of Terraria, Nukem Edition. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Later.